Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you want more One Piece content. Anyways, in this video, we're going to be talking about the navigator of the Straw Hats. Nami. Nami is also like the emotional sub crutch or emotional drive of the story. Because, you know, the stuff that happened with Sanji, she was the more emotional one. She did it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways, I'm going to be honest. Post pre time skip Nami was my least favorite straw hat by a mile. Let me, let me whoa, 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 whoa. before you get your pitchforks, before you get your pitchforks, is I like her a lot more now, but I think Oda really liked to um, show off her bad characteristics, like her greediness and her all this other shit, you know, the greediness and cowardness and all this stuff. But now, like in Wano, when she has her probably one of her best moments ever that nobody ever really talks about, where she. Or bit, I think where she admits that Luffy's going to be king of the pirates and she won't back down from that and won't lie and say that he's not going to be king of the pirates because he's going to be king. He's going to be king of the pirates. Also, I think she dresses pretty good, you know. Oh, you're only saying that because she wears fucking bikinis all the time. Well, well her... Freaking whole cake outfit's amazing. And she's kind of like the accountant. She keeps all the money for the straw hats. You know. She makes sure everything gets paid and stuff. And she is a thief. Cat burglar Nami. I do like her orange hair. And you know. Oda is a goat. That's all I gotta say. Oh, there's a go. He's gotten um, significantly better, in my opinion, in writing females, especially her. Like, he uses her in the right time. He uses the emotional m moments to tug at your heartstrings. It's just like, oh. And she also. Nobody talks about her backstory, but her backstory was freaking good. She's just a kid, you know, living it up in the city, you know. Being a kid, and then your freaking mother figure just gets fucking shot right in front of you. It's like, God dang. No wonder. And then you get told you can buy the village back that you, you want. And then you get the money. And Arlong's just like, ha, 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 ha we're going to steal it from you. And then her, uh, then, uh, you know, Jinbei, the goat. Ask for her forgiveness, and she's just like, "Oh, okay." I was like, "There could have been so much." Like that moment was kind of ruined by Sanji. Not gonna lie, like he was so mad and angry. Uh, there could have been a good moment where she's like, "I can't ever, I can't ever forgive Arlong, and I will never forgive Arlong." But you're not Arlong. But and then he'd be like, "Oh, but it was my fault. I let him run free." And then she'd be like, "But you're not Arlong." That's. What should have happened? And Sanji should have never got mad for him. Her, I mean, it's kind of sad. We didn't have a very long. I don't know how many long years was was Dress Rosa was a, without Nami. And, you know, all the minx lover, because you know, she's Nami. She has seemed to be more sensitive and like, like. She is definitely, out of everyone on the crew, she's the most emotional. And she's the most, like, she drives the emotions of the crew members, I guess is the proper way to say it. I do not hope she, in, I hope she does not end up with Sanji. I don't know who I'd want her with. So, not a straw hat, that's for sure. And definitely not Sanji. But, uh, people are like, oh, Sanji and Pony Grove. like, oh, well. Luffy and Boa's gross. Boa's 30. And Luffy was 19. It's 11 years difference there, bud. That's pretty dramatic. Now, if she was 30 and then she was 41, that'd be fine, I guess. It's age. You know. I guess I, uh, she... Luffy... 
would be dead without Luffy and Zoro would have been dead in the water with, if it wasn't for her. Because they had that like little dingy thing. You, Zoro has no sense of direction, and Luffy's just like, "Oh, let's go here. Let's go here. Let's go here." He obviously needs a world class navigator on his crew, and who better than the cat burglar? Anami, Nami, 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 Nami. And her like interactions where she like you know gets Sanji to simp for her are pretty funny most of the time. And she's friends with Chopper. That shit she lets Momonosuke do. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of. Well, nope, nope, nope. But you know, Bartolomeo is a goat. That's all I gotta say. Oh, does it go? But like, to write such kind of like three. I feel like she's very. I don't know. I don't get how she got the number three spot. And uh, wasn't she number three in the popularity pool? It's like Sanji's way better written than her. This isn't just a shit on her video. Even though I easily could sit here for thirteen minutes and talk about how much. I didn't like her. I mean, she's gotten a lot better. I mean, the first scene you see her, you know, she's hugging Usopp and some stuff happens, you know. And I've always liked her dynamic with Usopp. I like, like, I like her interactions with other people. Yeah. She gets along with the crewmates pretty well, you know. She's the navigator. She makes sure everything happens. They all listen to her, respect her. She makes a lot more captain captain decisions than the actual captain. But Luffy's just like, meh. If he needs to make a decision, he'll make one. But Luffy... Like, if somebody asked Luffy this question, is Nami going to draw a map of the world? Luffy would look them in their eyes and say, yeah, without a doubt. Is, is Zoro going to be the world's strongest swordsman? Yeah, without a doubt. Like there's, and like Luffy wouldn't let them not do their dream. So, which you know is a good thing, because he needs all. I think he honestly needs every single one of his members. Oh, crew are pushing him to do what he wants to do, and his. I want. I really want Oda to. Have Luffy have to say something like that. Like somebody asked him, do you really think Zoro is going to be um, the world's greatest swordsman? And Luffy to be like, yeah, I want that stuff to happen. Like I want to see Luffy's belief in his crewmates. Even though he did say when he was fighting Kaido, he was like, yeah, my crewmates got that. It's fine. Leave it to them. But I want more of that. Like, Because that's very, I feel like that's very much Luffy's character. Is to have, they have un one hundred percent undying loyalty in him, and he has one hundred percent undying loyalty in them. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. If you got a problem, then speak it up with the big guy to my right and to my left. I I I really should get back on topic, but this is just my you know ADHD. It's just like I just I I ramble. No, I can't ramble. I mean, I could easily sit here and ramble about One Piece for fucking six, seven, eight, nine, ten hours. And about how the world is always evolving and changing and interacting in the ways that you never thought would happen. I went into One Piece never thinking I, any, come, that I'd come out with anything. And I can't. Yes. <laughs> It's enough. It's my favorite series of all time. It's my favorite form of fiction. It's my favorite form of anything. Literature. Whatever you want to say. It's my it's the best. And that's all because Oda is a goat. And Nami is navigator. Bro, I honestly now kind of find her gag like the best with the money thing. I kind of it's weird. It's no, it's no Zoro gets lost. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Zoro's lost thing is kind of overused. You know, that's a, that's how this kind of stick, though, is. Hmm. I really like this gag. 
I think it's funny. I'm gonna ride it 16 million times. Oh, the fan base hates it now. Oh, stop riding it for a while into the story. Do you think if this is an honest to God question, do you think if Luffy would have asked Bartolomeo to join his crew, would he have done it? I think he wouldn't have. He'd be like, I'm not, I'm not, because, you know, he would say, I'm not good enough to be a member of the Straw Hats or something like that, you know. It is what it is, it is what it is, it is what it is. They might call me a bow. They can't handle this when you got Nami. Do you think Nami can sing? These are all questions that go through my head on a regular basis. You know, she knows that Luffy's gonna be the king of the pirates. He's never gonna stop until he's king of the pirates. Never gonna blah, 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 blah. He's never gonna stop, blah, da, da. Never gonna stop. Uh-oh. Da, 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 da. She's got orange hair. She's big, scared. She punches Luffy. He falls to the ground. She's got... Zoro on it, or Zoro running for the hills. She's the strongest straw hat. Let's go, let's go, let's go. My um measurements of nine million two hundred and sixty-five. Bro, she can shoot lightning. She can control the weather. You no, know, you know, you know. She the goat. You know her. She's had zero good fights in the series. Gonna. You can say to make me in the comment section, but there isn't name one. Khalifa? Khalifa? That fight was terrible, dude. The only reason she had that fight was because Sanji couldn't do it. But then Sanji finally learned that he can't fight women. It took him a thousand chapters. <laughs> Anyways, that's gonna do it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay weird, fam.